on this episode of Bevner Podcast. Today I review Monsters Uber Monster Energy Brew, bioactivated non-alcoholic energy supplement. What? Hey everybody, welcome to Bevner Podcast. I'm your host Jason, the Bevner Coleman. This episode 132. I went to Monday Night Raw in Atlanta, Georgia last night. I uh, lost my voice. I'm a little hoarse, and I'm kind of tired, so I need a pick-me-up. So I'm going to be reviewing an energy brew by Monster called Uber Monster. It comes in a crazy glass bottle with a like gigantic bottle cap. Uh, this is an energy brew. It's non-alcoholic. Um, let's see what it says on the back here. Uh, let's see. It's got an energy blend of uh, 2,500 milligrams of glucose... Uh, uh, amino acids, caffeine, stuff, I don't know what it is. Um, on the back it says Uber, from the German meaning superior, above the norm or the ultimate. Uber Monster, the ultimate energy brew from Monster. Produced using proprietary brewing technology, we borrowed a German brewing process which uses a special microbe to ferment malted barley. Mm, okay, the resulting bioactivated brew has a clean, crisp taste without without the alcohol. So what's the point? No regular bottle could handle this evil energy brewski. So we designed our own with the biggest sugar-friendly wide mouth we could make. That's what she said. Uh, the <laughs> the big ass cap is a little hard to pry off, but it's sort of like if you can't open it, then you shouldn't be able to drink it. Cheers! This energy brew is for you. Uh, you can check them out at MonsterEnergy.com. Uh, yeah, so it doesn't have like an exact amount of caffeine in it. Uh, it's carbonated water, sucrose, non-alcoholic fermented malt base. So this is like a this is like a, a, a non-alcoholic beer energy drink. Uh, we have had a malted uh, soft drink before with the uh, Mountain Dew Johnson City Gold, and I didn't really like it that much. So um, maybe I will like this one. And I don't even what am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> eh, eh, urgh. Ow. Uh, so, um, right, acting. Um, let me let me find something for this. Uh, okay, be right back. To the laundry room. I'm back. I've got my trusty uh, World of Coke. Uh, trusty. It barely ever works. Okay, let's see. The lid is too big for this bottle cap opener. Okay. Alright, now I have a waiter's corkscrew and it happens to have a ball opener on it. Ah, oh, I think this is gonna work. Oh, what the heck? Why is this so hard? Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh, son of a. Well, spilled all over myself. Ah! Oh. It smells like uh, it smells like your ener it smells like an energy drink, plus like beer. Uh, imagine like an alcoholic Red Bull. That's exactly what this smells like. It's got like that licorice smell. It's got like a malty, brewery kind of smell. Interesting. Uh, as you can see, it's like a dark like. Uh, random energy drink color where it doesn't have like crazy colors but it's like got that nice like golden but that, that could be from the malt too though let's try it it tastes very very similar to Red Bull without like that Red Bull aftertaste and kick that a lot of people uh, try to drown out with Jägermeister. Um, definitely decent. Um, I like it probably better than a regular Red Bull. Um, I've never had like a regular Monster before, but I think they're like, I might have had one, but they're like a citrusy kind. This is more like just a plain energy drink flavor. It reminds me more of the Soda Stream energy. Uh, that's definitely a plus. I'm not getting a whole lot of like that malt, but it's there. Kind of got like a salty aftertaste too, like especially um 
after you swallow and it's like you kind of lick around in your mouth as weird as that sounds but you do kind of get like a soft a salty aftertaste I always thought this was gonna be horrible please you could give this to me any day over the Johnson City Gold Malt Mountain Dew uh, this is actually quite nice to drink it's not overly carbonated um, I thought it was gonna be more beer like so I guess that could be kind of a letdown because I thought it was gonna be uh, uh, stronger in the malt department whereas this one is just kind of hints in the uh, uh, it, it kind of just has hints in it after you swallow and like you get those aftertastes um, definitely doesn't smell as strong as beer as I thought initially either like this the aromas kind of like dispersed around the room and all over my arm and pants but however this is a um, this is an enjoyable energy drink um, I, honestly I was not looking forward to this one and I thought it was gonna be terrible but it ended up being quite nice as far as a taste Bevner rating I would give this a B um, very drinkable um, it doesn't have so much of the energy drink like aftertaste and kick that some people don't seem to like uh, that's not really there with me but it does have really good flavor um, uh, you can check them out at uh, Facebook.com slash Monster Energy, Twitter at Monster Energy, YouTube.com slash Monster Energy, and the dot com, MonsterEnergy.com. Um, and for more uh, like information on like nutrition facts and all that, you can look for that. You're all adults. You know how to use the internet. But um, yeah, that wraps up my review of Uber Monster. I uh, wound up getting, I'll probably give it a B and a thumbs up and a pat on the back. And I uh, hope you give me some energy because I'm really tired. I didn't get in until about 1 last night. And then I had to get up for work at 4 to be there at 5. So uh, I might just be delirious or something. But I'm here. Maybe this will give me a good pick-me-up to do some work tonight. And uh, so, yeah. Uh, some other quick shout-outs. I want to thank Man Halls. That's a, a hot sauce review show on YouTube. Check them out. Uh, we're now going to be curating their hot sauce reviews on BevNerd.com. Uh, Bucky and Matt do some really, really crazy stuff with hot sauce as far as like eating it. And uh, they're very, very much more brave than I am. So uh, if you're interested in hot sauce reviews, go to BevNerd.com. We'll be posting uh, videos that they make. If you like hot sauce reviews, go to BevNerd.com as well. That's awesome. And we also want to do a great shout out to MomoCon. It's MomoCon.com. We'll be um, in Atlanta for three days, March 8, 9, and 10 at a BevNerd booth and a panel on Saturday. Uh, I just got some product in the mail from our sponsors, uh, a couple of them. We have Aloic Organic Aloe Vera Drink. We'll be sampling this out. And I really just got 60 pounds of beef jerky from Wild Bills. They sent me uh, one ounce samples of hickory smoked beef jerky tender tips. So if you want, if this is if this sounds good to you, then come visit our booth at Momocon. Check it out. It's an anime and gaming and geek culture costumed event. It's going to be awesome like it was last year. Thank you for having us back. We are looking forward to that. And if you want more um, sodas, soft drinks, and snack food reviews, go to BevNerd.com. Uh, like us on Facebook, Facebook.com slash BevNerd, at BevNerd on Twitter. You, subscribe, you can subscribe to our video feed at blip.tv slash BevNerd. We're also on uh, Instagram, Pinterest, um, iTunes. So if you use any of these things that has a search bar in it, if you look for BevNerd, we're bound to be whoring ourselves around on one of those mediums. So, check that out. And from BevNerd.com, I'm Jason Coleman. Goodbye!